hey guys what's up so it's the festive season everyone is enjoying their holidays at home spending time with family probably watching movies and some people are just trying to rekindle their old hobbies and trying to learn drawing again and i figured right now is the time we should try to learn drawing for ourselves from anyone who can teach us anything reasonable right because almost every artist on the internet is self-taught and there are a ton of really good amazing self-taught artists what harm is there in learning from a self-taught artist sharing their tips on the internet right All right, so right off the bat, this person's first tip to becoming a better artist and understanding how to draw is to just literally trace the drawing by placing your reference photo underneath the sheet of paper you're trying to draw on, which kind of sounds like a smart idea if you're essentially trying to draw the likeness and resemblance of a person or a portrait i feel like there are better ways to do this instead of just increasing your screen brightness and squinting your eyes trying to draw on your screen i mean it just feels like a really stressful procedure you could literally print out whatever it is you're trying to trace if you're trying to draw a portrait and just draw over that another problem i have with it is how stiff the drawing looks because you literally just traced over your actual reference photo here's a website that'll make you draw better start off by googling sketchfab next you're going to browse their catalog of models you're going to want to find one that you want to use as reference i try to find one with cool poses or angles that are hard to find in reference photos find a good position and start drawing follow and comment what's next oh this is actually cool especially if you're trying to draw like poses where the anatomy is all weird and it's probably from a really weird angle maybe from high above or from super low below and the character is probably trying to stretch their hand at the camera and they're doing some weird thing with their body at the same time this will kind of be really helpful especially for people just drawing backgrounds as well which is probably every one of us who hates drawing backgrounds this will probably be very helpful so you can just find a ton of references and just gather them up and fill them up within your image and just use that to start drawing whatever it is you're trying to draw. Have you ever wondered why someone's line drawing or sketching can look so much better than someone else's even though it just seems like it's a few simple lines? It's called line quality or line confidence and it's something that comes with practice and you can train it with exercises. Figuring out the technical name of the thing you want to improve is always a great first step. Now this is something that you don't necessarily can teach someone but it just generally gets better with time especially if you're drawing pretty much consistently and actually focusing on the fundamentals and trying to improve. Eventually you're going to stop drawing really shorter uh, loose line work and your line the strokes you make when you're drawing are eventually going to become much more confident because you're sure of the marks you're putting down on the paper and you actually understand the forms you're trying to portray now whenever this happens is usually because you're not sure of what you're trying to draw or you're making a couple of mistakes and you're not necessarily thinking through the pose you're trying to draw or whatever it is you're trying to draw you're not really seeing the final picture so you're just going back and forth trying to finalize who the line you're trying to make the mark you're trying to make on the page in the long run once you understand your forms and your shapes and you're much more comfortable in just throwing shapes around and feeling them out drawing with shapes instead of just drawing marks and strokes eventually you're going to get much more confident with how you draw your lines someone that really does this very very well is tb Choi. i just love the way her strokes are very confident and she can literally just draw a character with just a few lines without having to draw a bunch of extra lines all over and just make it look really messy of course you can do that if you're just sketching and just having fun but even while you're sketching you can still keep in mind that you're trying to have 
very confident lines so you can limit the amount of strokes you're actually using to draw just so you can have confident lines in your work i know it sounds all confusing and hard to do but eventually once you just keep drawing you eventually get good at it Now, this is kind of confusing. In as much as it looks like it does work since you're just thinking about where your eyes sit and how your collarbones sit as well, it looks like it works. So if you're looking up, your eyes are going up and then your collarbones automatically go down, I guess. I don't think it works for every drawing and every pose. Yes, it's good to understand where your collarbone and eye line sit, but what's much more good good and important in a drawing is the gesture especially if you're drawing figures not just thinking about where your collarbone sits maybe this could work in portraits but i really am not that sure please if you understand what this tip is supposed to help with please let us know in the comments because me i'm confused do you ever draw really, really fast? This is a quick little gesture of a punk that I wanted to bust into this morning as a way of warming up. My entire process when working this quickly is to really just focus on the energy and the overall envelope of the figure. That envelope is the important thing, the big, simple shape. And because I'm not getting into too much detail and I'm not that worried about accuracy, I'm focused more on speed. I wanted to see how quickly I could get this done without bothering to noodle anything. So of course there are going to be concessions to accuracy, but I really don't mind. I also want to show you with this piece just how much you can get away with when you go in and start to hint at rendering and shape and form once you've got the basic line work down. So I'm not worried about getting things right. I'm worried about putting them on the page, about reacting to each and every mark and living with the things that are there. I can fuss with stuff later, or if I wanted to treat it in a more realistic manner, I might have penciled things or taken my time. But here it's all about speed. Here it's all about energy. And this is the final result. So I want you to challenge yourself next time you work. Go as fast as you can. See if you can pull it all together. Man, that was a lot of talk. I mean, <laughs> I guess what he's saying is just drawing with the shape in mind and not going back and forth making squiggly lines, which was something I just said literally seconds ago when you keep drawing for some time you are eventually going to become much more confident in whatever marks it is you're making you can't just wake up in the morning and miraculously understand every form and every anatomical posture the human body can make and just literally draw it without any reference without you knowing how to draw the body in the first place so these things are things that will come to you in time the more you keep drawing the more you keep understanding anatomy the more you keep on drawing figures and poses and you've taken in so much poses and just knowledge of how the body looks in different weird angles you've had all these knowledge stored up in your visual library eventually you're going to become good at just drawing random shapes and making them look like something convincing this is not something that you can just do out of the bat so it's something you can practice getting good at but you have to understand it's going to come to you with time so don't stress yourself over all these guys that tell you you have to do this right now and it will make you miraculously good everything takes time and that is the most important thing that is crucial when trying to become a better artist you have to realize that you're going to suck for some time but after this long session of sucky art you're going to become 
a good artist and start making pretty beautiful art. So just keep at it, my friend. A crucial tip. This is an actual useful tip. You see, a lot of us draw with, well, I'm not guilty of doing this, but a lot of you guys draw with using just your wrist. So you're so stuck, you're holding your stylus pen just by the wrist or your pencil, and you're just drawing from the wrist. So your drawings won't look very fluid and your lines won't look very fluid because you're not drawing either from your elbow or from your shoulder depending on how large your surface is so this tip will actually help you draw smoother lines if you start pivoting your hand on just your little finger balancing your entire arm on your little finger and what what will make your drawings look much more fluid and your lines look much more confident is when you start actually drawing with your entire wrist and elbow instead of just gripping your pencil so hard with your fingers and just squiggling with your tiny fingers when you start drawing with your entire elbow your drawings just become much more fluid and your lines just the drawing just looks better so you can try this tip for yourself it's something that i i kind of draw now with just my elbow and my wrist but depending on the surface or the size of the drawing i'm working on sometimes i might just draw with my finger so it's all up to you most important tip in this entire video i don't know what is i feel like a lot of artists aren't really taking enough breaks and just taking time to rest from stressing their brain so much and trying to cram all these freaking weird muscle names and just things that really aren't as important as your health you need to understand that your body needs rest your body needs time to just literally do nothing and recover from all the stress you're putting it's through sitting down in one place and just drawing and struggling with something so much that you're making your brain think so hard is putting your body under stress and eventually when you do this for so long you're going to have all this fatigue build up and you're just going to stop getting tired of drawing and burning out which is not what you want you want to be able to keep on functioning for long hours throughout the week without having to feel super tired and just not wanting to draw at all so taking breaks from time to time is something that will help you not get stressed out as much when you're not taking any breaks at all i know it's hard to just think of this and just sit down not doing anything but this is something you just have to force yourself to do take time out take breaks when you can and just try to use that time to do something else that mustn't be art related you can go outside, take a walk with your dog, go see parents, do something that has nothing to do with art and just refresh your brain. And who knows, maybe when you come back, you might start seeing things you've been doing wrong and just see things in a different light. So yes, breaks are super important and will help you in just being in better health in general. I just don't know why anytime I see tutorials where they say this one is wrong and this one is right, I always tend to love the one that they say is wrong, which is always just 
something that someone else's does and is right to them and other people that enjoy that kind of art now i don't understand why it this always happens but they think the way they draw something is the only correct way and everyone else should just follow the way they draw that but that's just not how art is different people enjoy different forms of art and are open to expressing their own art in whatever way they feel is right to them so you can't just come out of the blues and force someone to draw a certain way or a certain style because you think that is correct and whatever other style they're usually fond of drawing with is a wrong style you will tell them that is wrong to them and expect them to just believe you i i feel like videos like this are just wrong and shouldn't exist but hey it's literally the internet so people can do whatever it is they want and just go ahead and post it and think however they can and the best that we can do is make videos like this and point out why we think that thing they're doing is wrong so hey anyway this was a really um fun video for me just coming back i've been literally sick for like a week now but i am still going to do my best to enjoy my holidays since i'm beginning to feel well now you can expect much more videos into the new year and uh, i'm glad you made it to the end of the video if you enjoyed the video please leave it a like if you want me to make more videos like this or you have a topic you want me to talk about you can always leave me a comment in the comment section or just shoot me a dm on twitter or instagram links are in the description you can go follow me on all my social media platforms and if you like to support the channel or help an african prince you can always do that by buying me a coffee using the link in the description and with all that being said I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Bop.